Welcome to the iPad Assessor video tutorial. This is the first video in a series that will teach you and explain how to use the iPad uh, Coastal Public Safety Risk Assessment tool set. Uh, in this uh, tutorial we're just going to have a quick overview of how to get started using the application. This image just shows the process of the application. Um, from install to the reporting. In this video we're going to concentrate on step two, the pre-assessment phase um, and in the following videos we'll look at uh, stages three and four. Hopefully by this stage you've successfully installed the application and you'll be able to see the assessor icon on the desktop of your iPad. To open the application we just click the assessor icon and that will bring up this screen. So this is the landing page for the assessor application and it's got a few important details at the top of the screen there. Um, the two that I want you to check just initially, if this is the first time you've run the application, are the version number and the last synchronized date. Now the version number should be displaying a number, so 1.0 or later and the last synchronized date should show today's date and time. Um, if they're not, this means that the application hasn't been able to contact the server to download a copy of the Absamp Beach data set. Um, you'll, this, you'll need the Beach data set to get to um, certain parts of the application when we're doing an assessment. Um, so this is why it's very important that the first time you run the application that you are able to connect to the internet. So once the version number and the last synchronized date are showing the right details, we can start the assessment process. So we do this by touching the councils button at the top left hand corner of the screen. Now if this is your first uh, time using the application you'll probably just see a grey box. Um, you won't see any menu items like I have there. To add a new council area we hit the edit button and that will display the add area option. We click the plus button next to where it says add area and that will bring up a text box where we can type in the name of a council area that we're going to assess. So I'll just type in test council and hit done. Now that test council now appears as a menu item. I then have to click done again to get rid of the minus signs and the add area option because we don't want those anymore. So I hit done and they disappear and now I have a menu which includes test council. So I'll click test council because that's the one we're going to use and then I come to the assessment screen. So the next thing I have to do, once I check that the council name is correct, is add an assessment. I do this by clicking the edit button and that gives me the add assessment option. Click the plus sign next to where it says add assessment and that gives me a list of preloaded assessment types. Um, these are just you know names, they don't really have any effect on the application, um, they just sort of define the assessment that we're going to do for the reporting process. Um, so we've got compliance audit, follow-up audit, initial assessment, secondary assessment and signage assessment. If I haven't, if the option I want isn't there I can add a new one so I can click edit and add a new item and I could just type in whatever is most appropriate for me. So I could type in test assessment And click done and then that is added to the menu there. Now once I've added it into the menu it'll be there every other time I come back into the application. If I don't want that option I can just choose edit again and using the minus sign next to where it says the assessment that I want to get rid of, in this case test assessment, I can touch the minus sign and that brings up the delete button. If I hit the delete button, then that item is removed from the menu. If I'm happy, I hit done, 
and then I've got my list of assessment types. Now I'm going to choose initial assessment for this one and I do that just by touching initial assessment. It then becomes an option in the assessments menu um, to get rid of the minus and plus signs I hit done and then I touch initial assessment. This now brings me to the assessment area details screen. So these are all the details that we want to add in relating to the overall assessment. So if we're assessing our local government area with more than one beach, these are the details that relate to the local government area. Now, um, I always think that it's a good idea to try and enter in as much of this information as possible before going out on site or going to the, the area that we're assessing. Um, you can add in as much or as little as you want before progressing to the next screen, whatever works for you. At the bottom of this screen, there's an option for recording our meetings and our interviews so that uh, it then becomes evidence and, and is stored on the server and we can refer to it at a later stage. We do that by pressing the plus sign next to add recording at the, the bottom option and then we just give a, a, a description of the meeting that we're having, a name, so a date and a location maybe. Uh, we hit record and at the end of the meeting we hit stop and um, then that's saved. We can then open that up either from the, directly from the application or through the web interface at a later stage if we want to listen back to that. It also has um, the uh, fields for entering in all the people that we speak to through the consultation phase of the assessment, um, both internal and external stakeholders, and we can then attach those stakeholders to the different working groups that we may wish to recommend to set up as a result of the assessment. Um, we can store in these, we can store the name, position, company, phone number and address of each of these stakeholders so that we build up a bit of a um, database of key contacts. So I'm just going to show you a few things up the top here. Um, we've got the site overview and if we all of these fields on each of these screens can be edited by hitting the little blue arrow. If I hit the blue arrow on the side overview, it brings up a map window and we can pan by dragging the map around. It should automatically default to the location that you are in with your iPad, um, but if it doesn't, you can just drag the map around and you can pinch uh, out or pinch in to zoom in and zoom out. Um, if we want to go to Bondi Beach, and we can capture the image for use in the report. We've also got access to standard satellite. So just wait for it to download. There we go satellite and hybrid views. So once I'm happy, I just press capture and then that image will be used in the report. The assessment date underneath um, defaults to today's date. Um, if you want to change it, you just use the scroll bars at the bottom to change the date. So um, that's all I'm going to show you for the time being on this screen. We're now going to add a beach. So we've got to now define the beaches within the council area that we're going to assess. And we do that by hitting the beaches button at the top left of the screen there, and then choosing edit. To add a beach, we hit the plus sign, and then tap where it says beach name and state. And we can actually search the Absamp beach data set for the beach that we want. So if I want to do Bondi, if I just type in the first three letters and hit search, it'll give me a list of all the beaches with B-O-N in them. Now the second one down I get is Bondi Beach. I choose that one 
and it creates a menu item for me. I hit done to get rid of the editing features and then I can hit Bondi and then I'm into the features screen so <coughs> it's that easy. Um, on the beaches screen we've got all the information that we want to capture about the beach itself so all the beach level data um, there's a few of our risk calculations in there as well again we act we can edit all that information again we can edit all that information by pressing the blue arrows next to each of the fields um, we also have the side overview images of for the beach um, with the site area or site overview image for the local government area we might want to take a, a capture of the whole LGA whereas for this one we just want an image of the beach I usually for the LGA one I usually use a, a standard view and for this one I use a satellite view wait for it to finish downloading a little bit and hit capture and then let's save we've also got a beach photo um, if we hit the blue arrow next to beach photo it brings up our image and camera uh, window there's two buttons down the bottom here one's for camera and one's for camera roll if we hit the camera one it opens up the um, camera of the iPad so we can actually take a photo or if we hit camera roll which I'm going to use this time because I'm doing a video shoot and I don't want to um, move the camera uh, we can choose a photo that we already have stored and use that one then we hit done and then that's stored and will be used in the report so um, we've got an assessment date at the top which I'll just set which defaults to today's date Hit done and so that's all our beach level information to go forward in the application we hit the button at the top left of the screen called audits and that'll give us a list of all the other screens in the application I'm not going to go into them in detail right now but there'll be other video tutorials going into detail about each one of these. So we've got hazards, accesses, facilities, rescue equipment, services and service levels. So that's all I wanted to go through um, at this point in time. If you want to navigate back and forward through the application, you use the button at the top left hand corner of the screen. Um, to go back, we can go back to beaches by hitting beaches. And so that takes us back to the beaches screen. If we want to go back again, we can go back to assessments. We can go back to councils. And then we're at the start of the application.